Good morning everybody, my name is Paul, I work for an Autodesk reseller in Cape Town called Micrographics. Today I'd like to have a look at something which we call Autolisp, not in depth, just as an overview. I recently had a call from a client, an elderly gentleman that had uh, collected his Autolisp scripts from the 80s and the 90s and he's still using them to great effect, so I thought let's have a look at that. You can also, of course, run them in LP. This is the full AutoCAD. And I'd just like to discuss uh, another issue, which I helped another colleague with, which is splines and how to reduce the number of splines. So in this case, he had uh, some blocks with trees, and of course, there were many, many, many points. The way in which the uh, blocks were set up, they were very heavy and very large with lots of points. And I tried to reproduce the effect that you can see here on the screen to some extent. I've chosen the spline as it takes a little bit more processing than just a normal polyline, especially with a script. But over here you can see that we've got a circle, a white circle, representing the sort of diameter of this spline of about 100 radius. And then inside of that we have a spline, and the spline has a very noisy fit around that circle. You can see it jumps quite far off the circle's values. And the idea here would be to reduce the noise of this spline. Now in this case it's a simple element. It shouldn't be too difficult to do manually either. But you can imagine scenarios and situations where this can get a lot more complex. So to investigate, we're going to have a look at a spline or at a script, a Lisp script that I found online. Actually found it through the AutoCAD community. And that is something that you want to watch out for. Because ultimately, running macros that you didn't uh, program yourself could open you up or introduce viruses onto your computer. And that is something that you should watch out for. To aid you in that, AutoCAD does have in the options, under the system settings, a security option trusted dialog, where you can add locations that might be trusted. Right? And you can say over here whether you want to exclude in the start in drawings folder, I'll show you, and also how to load, but you can add based on a security level essentially telling us that if the script was inspected by somebody that knows what they're doing, are they happy to run the script? Or is it possibly going to introduce something to our computer which is not safe? Usually when it's off the AutoCAD community, one can have a, a better degree of trust in whatever was put out there. In this case, we're simply borrowing a script that somebody else wrote and refined. It's called PL, PL Diet. We downloaded that onto our computer. And let's have a look at that. To open that file is relatively easy. We would open it with Notepad, even though it is an LSP file. And there we can see the, the comments out. So there's quite a large description which is good practice by whoever programmed this to give us a very detailed explanation of what's going through. And so typically when we program things, we'd like to tell other people what's going on. And then over here, we've got the, the, the function definition. So you'll see that we'll have to run this with the command pld, command name at the top you can see is pld. So even though the file is called pldiet.lisp, we run it using the command pld. So quite often that would be the same, but 
you might want to get into the habit of checking what the name is. And then what's left for us to do is to load that into AutoCAD. Okay, so here we can load that file. And if we worked with it a lot, then we can even put it in our startup suite so it loads up every time. I just want to load this once, yes. <coughs> then I can run that using the PLD command. All right. So what it's looking for is a polyline, and of course we've got a spline. So we'll convert that. Let's just see if we can convert that using the edit spline command. Then we can convert it to a polyline. Right, so there you can see now it's even got more points. And then we'll be able to run the PLD command on it. So maximum distance between collinear vertices to straighten, I would say in this case maybe about 30. Change in direction, I'll allow anything up to 180. And straighten arc segments, I'll say straighten. Select the object, the polyline, and enter. And now you can see that the, the computer is running the command. And there we can see it's now simplified when it stopped running. It simplified that noisy circle and it's closer to what we would have expected with the circle. So you can reduce the number of points on a, on a spline by converting it into a polyline. Of course, if you want to put it back into a spline, you could edit that polyline and click on spline. Okay, so that's even closer. And then you can even try and fit it closer to the shape that you'd like. Much easier now to try and fit that spline onto the circle. The little bit of work you can kind of get the result that you want. So this is actually what the client was looking for, my colleague. And we achieved that by leveraging a LSP one LSP script that was written by somebody else and we're thankful for that and like I mentioned just be careful when you run scripts that you don't know that you don't introduce viruses on your computer so virus check read through the script see if there's anything funny before running that script well, I hope that Lisp helps you or your Lisp commands that you can find. Don't be put off when you see something like that. It's quite easy to run it. And until next time, enjoy AutoCAD.